everybody. Um, my name is Mandy Chang. I am the school counselor at IT, and I'm also serving as the AP coordinator. So today I'm going to talk about AP test. Uh, I know there are lots of questions around this subject. So hopefully today I can answer um, as many questions as you can, all right? Um, so basically um, AP courses are college level courses that's offered in high school. And um, these courses reflect what is being taught in an introductory college courses. Uh, students can take the AP exam in the end of the course that will measure their mastery of college level work. Students can typically earn college credit or placement in the honors or advanced courses when they score a three or above on an AP exam. So the AP courses that we offered at Fairchild Wheeler are um, US history, world history, psychology, um, calculus AB, computer science A, computer science principles, statistics, um, and Spanish language and culture. So let's talk about the benefits of taking AP courses. So basically AP students, uh, there are research showing that AP students are more prepared for college than students who don't take AP. They're more likely to enroll and stay in college, do well in their classes and graduate in four years. Um, because these AP courses, they are more rigorous and really prepare students to develop their college skills and um, discover their passion in college. And also, um, another important point is that um, if they do well in those AP classes, that is a boost in, in the GPA. Um, that is a point two. Um, actually, it is a point four above. Uh, a regular class that is offered at Fairchild Wheeler. So for that particular class that you, the students will have a 0.4 um, GPA boost. And also for students who take, take the AP courses and take the AP exam, um, you know, like what I explained a few slides before, they, there is a chance that they can get college credits based on the college policy. And um, taking an AP class also would stand out to colleges when they apply to colleges because college admissions will see that they are taking a more rigorous class in high school. Um, all right. So I think I did mention it before. And um, in this slide, it provides a link where you can find colleges that grant um, <clears throat> AP credit or placement. <clears throat> so you can go to college or slash AP credit policy to look for other specific information. It is very important that if um, students already have certain colleges in their mind they want to apply to, um, you can start to do those research to see how uh, they will accept the AP score um, into college credit. So a lot of students also would ask about, okay, what are the difference between taking AP versus an EC class? So um, like I explained before, taking an AP class, uh, if you end up taking the AP exam, you will get college credit if you score three or four or above in the, in the test based on the college policy. However, you don't get college credit if just by taking the course, you need to take the AP exam, all right? Versus um, if you take a UConn EC class, you can get the UConn college credits if you complete the class and pass with a C or above. Based on the UConn EC data, um, that is a 87% of college transfer rate. You can also check with the individual colleges for their UConn EC credit acceptance. Therefore, like what I mentioned in the um, last slide, um, you should start doing some research about you know, the kind of colleges you're thinking about and what is the AP score policy and what, how do they accept UConn EC credit? And also, you know, when you are um, thinking, you know, between um, AP and ECE, also ask yourself whether you think you are the kind of student who will do really well um, um, by taking the test, or you, you are the kind of student who would do better by taking the whole semester course and get a final grade. 
because you know this will be kind of your really your individual decision based on um, your own preferences. The other differences are that um, if you are eligible for a fee waiver, um, well, you know, I will mention more about the fee waiver later on. Um, the AP taking an AP test and um, taking UConn EC courses, they are both free to your family if you're eligible for the fee waiver. However, if you're not eligible for the fee waiver, each AP test would cost $96. And uh, each a uh, UConn EC cost would cost uh, $150 for three credit costs or $200 for four credit costs. Um, and for some students, um, you may want to take some AP test that is not offered at Fairchild Wheeler. You know, like um, I did mention, you know, we offer the history courses or computer courses. Uh, maybe you would like to take an AP, call, AP exam in Chinese language or French language or English literature. You know, things that are not offered at Fairchild Wheeler, you can still request to take those AP tests. You can still fill out the same AP contract, which I will mention later on. Um, you just need to prepare the, the, the test on your own because we don't have the course that's offered at Fairchild Wheeler. However, for UConn EC classes, you can only sign up for the courses that are offered at Fairchild Wheeler. All right, so that's the difference. All right, now it is the registration part. If you are interested in taking the AP test, um, you will need to fill out the AP contract. Um, there are two pages, front and back page. Um, I'm going to, actually, the AP contract will be sent along with this video to all the teachers and to all the students. So you will have access to the AP contract. Uh, the back page of the AP contract is a fee waiver. So make sure to fill it out if you're eligible, depending on your family income or any special circumstances. Um, and after you have completed the form, and um, you can submit the form to Mrs. Lisiaga in the principal's office, include um, the money if you are not eligible for the fee waiver. So basically, you either just submit the form if you don't need to pay, or you bring the form and money. Um, for four semester classes, if you're taking, if you're currently taking an AP US history in four semester, that means your deadline is October 21st. All right. If you are taking an AP US history in spring semester or any courses in spring semester, your deadline will be February 26. Um, for courses that are not offered at Fairchild Wheeler, you can still sign up and you can fill out the same form. But the deadline is also we follow the fall semester deadline, which is October 21st, 2021. Uh, for students who are not at IT, you, you still follow the same procedure. Uh, you just need to submit your form and money to your own principal's office. For the payment, only cash or money order or bank check is acceptable. We don't accept personal check. All right. So for the students who are really um, signing up for the AP test, there are lots of resources and support um, for you to prepare for the test. You should sign in to access to your AP resources. Um, the link is here, myap.collegeworld.org. Um, so there are, um, okay, let me just go to the next slide. There are AP daily videos. You know, basically there are really short learning videos on every topic in every unit that you can review for every short video. Um, it, it helps you to, to learn the material. and. It progress in the in the um, timeline that it will lead towards the, the May test. There are also practice questions uh, on the link. You can access it through the app that makes it very user friendly for students. It's a very quick check for your understanding. Um, they, they make it very user friendly. Also, you know, after you sign up, you know, with your practice and everything, you know, you're able to do your own personal progress check to see how far along you are and really help you to manage your time and make sure you cover the required topics before the test. Um, they have the student progress dashboard, make it very user friendly with all the bar charts and everything. So, um, 
So, so this concludes my presentation. Um, I hope that it answered your question about um, whether you should take your AP test or not. Please review with your parents. And if you have any questions, you can ask your AP teacher or you can contact your own counsel at the school. In IT, it will be me, Mrs. Cheung. All right. Um, um, so that's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.